What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zach Lyon. Back at it again with a video podcast. And this topic right here was on my mind. I was really just thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? Let me make a video co- podcast about it. In this video, we're talking about overcoming illusions to achieve clarity. And we first had to start with the definition of an illusion. What is an illusion? An illusion is something that appears real, but in reality, it opposes the truth. And I believe that there are times in life when we have illusions. And at first we may think like, okay, this is real. Like, for example, fears. Fears are stuff that, it's like false evidence that appears real, right? Fear in itself is an illusion. That's one of the main illusions because fear in our reality is something that comes from the mind. It's something that isn't really there. It's something that we made up. And normally, clarity comes after a situation. Most of the times, I believe that we go through most of the things we go through in life. Whether they're desirable situations or undesirable situations to achieve that clarity. And the clarity usually comes from reflecting on the situation. Taking the lessons, taking the blessings from the situation and knowing, okay, I can use this for the future. And I know how to incorporate this to my present life, you know, like everyday life. And sometimes you just got a lot of clarity time for it to reveal itself. And you got to, you know, reflect on what happened without staying stuck in the past. Because I believe after everything, reflection, kind of meditating, you know, having that concentration on what happened, it allows a person to move forward and to know what better decisions to make next time and how to work with the energies of that situation and how to become a better person. Now to overcome an illusion, it's important to see a situation from multiple perspectives and to see the bigger picture. And I believe to do this, you had to first Look at the situation itself. I look at the whole situation and then from there take the details from it and start putting the piece together. And it's important to not look at the situation from a negative perspective or, you know, not, you know, have that kind of what I call limited view of it. You got to be able to see it from multiple angles and know how to work with it. And overcoming illusion, it's really a skill to build up. You just have to really have the experience with it. But you do have to start by seeing the bigger picture and seeing it from all sides. And once you do that, then you kind of have to plan what to do next. You just have to see how to move from there. And if, it, if you feel aligned with truth, then trust that feeling and see where it goes from there. Because even if it really doesn't align with truth, by you trusting yourself, you're building intuition and you're actually strengthening your mind, strengthening your spirit. Your spirit, if it agrees with it too, your spirit will let you know. You, you may have that, you know, that feeling internally if something sits right with you or not. So it's important to also listen to your feelings, your intuition, and take from that what you will. And usually, usually illusions are things that at the moment may seem to kind of hold us back. Or even if we're like in a high, high vibratory state, we still have to be able to discern from what's real and what's not. And I feel that illusions usually come over like in, you know, these higher vibratory states sometimes because, you know, let's say you're happy and then you may receive like opportunity, but it's like part of you doesn't feel right about it. You're like, okay, this opportunity, 
okay, you know, I'm good right now, you know. It's all between you, so like, it's good. But then you like, you kind of sealed it for me, like, mm, something don't feel right. Most of the time, that could be like, that, you know, that it could be like an illusion for a minute until you really dig deeper into it and be like, okay, this probably is not the best option for me. And that's where it's important to look at the things from multiple angles, see how it feels, how, how it feels and how it sits right with you. And, you know, if it sits right with you. But anyways, it's your boy, Zach Lyon. If y'all have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box. Comments, concerns. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep building. It's your boy, Zach Lyon. I'm out. Peace.